Hi, Shui Yin. Hi, come on in. So, what's your morning ritual like? Um, usually answer a ton of emails and then um, usually do a little bit of light exercise and um, have breakfast. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? I think as a photographer, I'd love to be able to be invisible, to be present but unseen. If you could bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? I suppose I'd bring a journal so that I can kind of keep writing my thoughts and um, find solace in that. Do you think there will ever be world peace? That's a very tricky question. Um, I think that it will really come down to a lot of human will. So what inspires you? I think um, the most everlasting sources of inspiration are character and kindness in people. What's the most memorable location you've shot at? Recently I was in a radar complex in the middle of North Dakota. Um, it was like a pyramid in the middle of nowhere. That was pretty fascinating to photograph. What keeps you grounded? Um, constant failure keeps me grounded. So what are the greatest obstacles um, you face as a woman documentary photographer? I think all photographers, men and women, face the same challenges. Um, and that is that you're only as good as your last piece of work and your next piece of work. Three people, alive or dead, you'd like to have dinner with? I would like to have dinner with the Pope, Nelson Mandela, and maybe Tan Kah Kee. What's the local food that you miss the most when you're overseas? Um, I think I miss chicken rice the most. If you're not a documentary photographer, what would you do? I think I might be a historian at a university or I might be a lifeguard because that was my childhood ambition. What advice would you give to girls who want to do what you do? I think the key thing is um, resilience because there's a lot of rejection and failure in this life and you have to be resilient to make it through. Was your life ever in danger when you were taking pictures for the Most People with Silent exhibition? Not really, but I had to be obviously very careful and strategic um, photographing on the China-North Korea border and also I had to be strapped into safety harnesses when I was uh, going into the missile silo. How did it feel being in those missile silos in the US? I had studied a lot of Cold War history at university and being inside these silos was very sort of, sort of you know, like history came alive for me in a physical way. What message do you hope to send with this exhibition? I think this, this body of work is meant to be very open-ended and meant to invite contemplation, reflection and perhaps even meditation and imagination over the issue of nuclear weapons in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you.